everybody what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel I am excited about today's video I am going to be showing you guys 18 new new Kylie Cosmetics lipsticks versus their old counterparts if you will so if you're new to the beauty community or if you've never really tried Kylie Cosmetics or heard of it whatever the case may be she rebranded reformulated whole new lab does her makeup cosmetics and stuff now so what I've done is I went and bought 18 of the new formula of the old ones that I have so we can compare color differences formula difference and all of that fun stuff so before we get into the video today if you are not subscribed if you are new New here hi I'm Jamie B make sure you do subscribe before you leave you don't want to miss out on any of the new beauty videos that I upload weekly and without further ado we're gonna get right into these lip swatches okay so first things first you are really zoomed in <laughs> really because I want you to be able to see this I have turned down my lights just a little because a lot of the times the studio lights will extremely overexpose I feel the colors so I want it to kind of be dim but obviously not dark to where you you can't see me but so you can actually see it more true to color however I have tried if you're not new here I did a new Kylie Cosmetics haul and I compared like blushes and bronzers a few of them to each other and I'll link it right here for you guys to check out but I really enjoyed the new formula. I feel like it's a little bit lighter. It's not as like super drying and thick and like crusty. I love Kylie Cosmetics. I have had no issues with that brand. There are some things that are just hit or miss, but as for the lipsticks, I own 85 of the old ones, the old formula, and I love them. I absolutely do. I had no issues. They were drying, but again, I have very dry lips. She had a Labor Day sale. Was it Labor Day? I think it was Labor Day. It was buy one, get one free. So I said, that's me that's what that's what I need because if I'm going to be buying 85 total lipsticks then I need to have some kind of sale or deal so I got 18 for the price of nine I don't know if Kylie will be relaunching all of the same colors or all of the older colors she's only done I think like 30 something so far or 40 however I really hope that she does come back with some of the older colors because I really enjoy them and I would like to replace them out like ironic I wore it the other day in my last video I'll put it here it's actually one of my favorite liquid lipsticks but it's almost gone and it's it's pretty old so I hope she redoes that one June bug is another one that was ugh it was one of my favorite I wore it all of the time so hopefully those she will be replacing I know like the Halloween one she probably won't the Jordy one she probably won't so these are the old formulas and then in these pretty little boxes I only I'm just gonna pick up one because it's hard because they're square this is the new formulas I will tell you I believe the old formula liquid lipstick is 0.11 ounces yes and then the new one is 0.10 they're both matte so that's similarities differences um, I think that the new liners in the new lip kit are bigger than the old ones so you're kind of swapping out more liner less lip lipstick they still have the drip um I believe though that they are pink kind of like this one they're no longer black like this one which I kind of like the black but it is what it is and then even like so I have bunny which was part of the Coco collection this one is in a normal tube now like it's not like a special edition she does have some of the Valentine's Day ones in here I did get some of those so there are quite a bit that she's launched that are from like the limited edition but there's certain ones that I'm certain she's not going to redo like Jordy and there's like um Halloween metallic -y ones I just don't think that were probably as popular so why even bothering making them situation so the first one I'm going to pick up is going to be bear and they all have numbers so like bear is 700 that's different so I'm assuming that her new lab is just that's just the way that they do things this is the new component it says Kylie on here but it's completely empty around the tube and this is the shade bear this came with a summer collection that I got but she also made this part of the permanent line so this is the bear that I have it's in a tan nude because this was part of a summer collection I got I got four different nudes in like a sandy looking box is really nice so the new one is a little bit lighter same undertone but a little bit lighter so let's see what we have here okay so this is the new one this is the old one I don't know if you could tell but I could tell the slight difference the older one or the newer one is a little bit more pinky peachy where this one is just pinky undertone so they're just a slight difference but you would really have to know so this one is the old bear which it's too light for me especially in the summertime in the winter it's not too bad and I like to put this one with a darker lip liner so this is the new bear and it is it's just a little more peachy however I'm not gonna lie I kind of like this color on my skin just a little bit better this one is a lot thinner and I will tell you 
it's a little more streaky than the older one. I want to try to avoid reds until last. Bunny. This was actually one of my favorite liquid lipsticks from Kylie. Comparing just the components again. So here are the swatch difference. This is the new one. This is the old one. So if Bunny was your favorite like me, these are two different shades and they're not the same vibe at all. This one has like a purple pinky undertone. This is just straight up super pink and like the whole mauve situation of this one was the reason that I loved it so much. So that kind of upsets me just because they don't look the same at all. So this one is the Old Bunny. It is literally, it's one of my favorite liquid lipsticks of hers of all time. So to find out that it's not the same makes me upset. It's such a like beautiful nude against my skin tone. Like so beautiful. So this is the new bunny. It is super pink and it's just not my jam. I love the more mauve shade of it. It's not terrible. It's just not the same. So this one gets a thumbs down for me because it's definitely completely different in every bad way. So not excited about that one. All right, so allergic to bullshit. If I'm not mistaken, that is another Coco collab. It is. So these are very similar because this is a newer one. Not super new, but definitely new-ish and newer than the black ones. So this is the old one and this is the new one. It's the same situation. If I'm being honest, this looks like Bunny and the new Bunny. Like more mauve pink, more peachy pink. I don't know what the new Kylie's obsession, obsession with peachy undertones is, but I'm not here for it. And this is the old one. So the old allergic to bullshit. And this is the new one. Okay, next one, ginger. Comparisons of the components. Oh, they look kind of similar. We'll see. So these two are fairly similar, but I want to say this one has a little bit more red undertone than this one. It's a little bit brighter, but these are pretty similar to where I don't think that I would know the difference, except for the old one has just more of that bricky, color to it again ignore the swatches they are uneven it's fine <laughs> this is the old ginger which is one of my favorite fall colors ever in the whole world and if you don't have this color you missed out on this color because it is gorgeous mm. and then this is the newer version of ginger which is not literally of the ones we've done it is not the biggest difference so this one i'm kind of excited that they didn't make it completely different the next one is 20 component comparison and you can definitely already see the difference in undertones. So the original one is a little bit darker than this one, but the undertones, they're only slightly off. They're not terrible, but this one definitely is darker and a shift more purple. So this is the old 20 and this is the newer one. So the older one is just slightly darker, just slightly. This one isn't actually too terrible of a difference. Okay, so the next two are Autumn, and they look fairly similar. I actually recently got Autumn before she closed down her store, and I think online or at Ulta, but I have not actually used this one very often. It's a really pretty color. There are actually a lot of them that I got that I've probably barely used. So here they are swatched together. This is the old Autumn and the new Autumn, so you can see the slight color difference again this is a little bit lighter that's what i'm finding is that the new ones are a little bit lighter in color when it comes to the red based ones i will probably not be swatching them on my lips just because i'll start to stain and i really just don't want to be stained all around my lips so just as a warning i will probably only be doing lip swatches with the neuter ones so this is the older autumn this is actually a really pretty color and I don't know why I haven't been using it. I like this a lot. And then this is the new one in autumn. It is a little bit lighter. It's a little bit more orange than I feel like the other one, like a little bit lighter peachy orange. What is their deal with the peachy colors? What is the deal? What am I missing here? <laughs> Kylie, why are they all so peachy and orangey and pink? This was one of the original 
liquid lip kits Kylie came out with when she first launched her brand. This is Candy K. They do look slightly different, but I will tell you, I think this one, the older one, looks a little bit lighter. So this is the original Candy K. This is the new Candy K. I just don't understand why they're washing out all of the color and that's been like a trend is this the new one the new formula is so much lighter and it even carries different undertones which is that's the part that kind of bothers me because if it was just a lighter shade I think I could get around that but when you start changing the undertones you're changing the lipstick because each undertone is gonna be different for each person. So once someone finds their undertone or the lipstick with their undertone, then it's like now you've changed it to a whole different lipstick. And this is the old Candy K, which is like literally my perfect nude. And this is the new one. It isn't terrible on my lips. I do love the color. It is just definitely a lighter, less mauve color than the original Candy K. I just, I actually don't mind this one at all. I just wish it was the same color, you know? The next two are brown sugar. So there they are. So these are actually almost identical. Holy moly, here we go. Okay, so this is the old brown sugar and the new brown sugar. I think that there's a slight, no, I can't see a difference. Maybe you guys can, let me know down below. But I think that these two are actually the first identical colors we have. We're gonna see. And what I'm gonna do to see is I'm gonna put the old one on the top lip and the new one on the bottom. Ah, I can't let it touch. <laughs> So these are actually pretty, pretty close. I will say the new one is actually a little bit darker than the old one. Just a little though, like when I look in the in the mirror, I can definitely see a little bit of a shade difference, but on camera, it really doesn't look that bad. Like if I were to wear both of these, no one would have any idea they were two different lipsticks. See, I like that though, I like that. Ooh, we got one that's identical basically identical those were both very drying on my lips all right so we're going in with hazel here is hazel i actually i don't think i've ever actually worn this one because i think i swatched it when i got it and i was like mm, not my thing look at the new one I just swatched it a couple times to make sure I put it on there because it was so close to my skin tone so this is the older one and this is the newer one I will say I think in this one I like the newer one because it's a less pink undertone than the old one. So they're pretty close in the same like brightness darkness situation but undertone wise this one has a little bit more of a pink undertone than this one. I love this one. Alright so I'm going to do top bottom again so we can compare them side by side. I don't know why I didn't do that the whole time. So looking at them side by side this is why I wanted I should have done this from the beginning with the other one so I'm sorry I didn't and I just now started doing this top bottom situation. Looking at these side by side they actually look pretty identical except for this one is just a little lighter but this one's it looks like I have no lips because this is so close to my skin. <laughs> Hello lips, we don't know you. So I like this one actually. I actually am gonna probably start wearing this one a little bit more. Maybe with like a little bit of a darker um, lip liner. So there is a little bit dimension and I don't look like my lips have disappeared. And I'm so sorry I didn't compare the other ones top and bottom like I'm doing now. I wish I would have done that. I love that idea. I told you my eczema will start to act up and it's gonna start getting really red. So for the sake of my skin, we're gonna swatch it on my arm. All right, so the first ones we're going into is Wish You Were Here. And if you ever wanna see lip swatches of these, you can ask and then I can swatch them individually and post them on my community tab just so you guys can kind of see them. Okay, so we have the old Wish You Were Here and the new. So this one is a little bit more pink and a little bit darker. This one, they're not too terribly different when I look at them. But I will say this one is a little bit thinner of a formula because I can still kind of see my skin through it where this one's pretty thick and creamy. And these are the Valentine's Day ones. So I'll probably keep this one because to me these are two different colors. So this is like a super, super like pink where this one's going to be like that, just not so pink, pink. So the next two are going to be Kristen. So these are the Kristen ones. All right, so these are Kristen. Let it focus. These are actually identical. They are 
100% identical. We have another identical. So just one, just one. And I actually like swatching these on my arms because you can see as they're drying the difference, but these so far identical. Okay, the next ones are Call Me. This one looks way more red, but this is a frosted container, so. And again, this is another Valentine's Day one. So both of those actually identical. Okay, so maybe it's like, well, the original one has a little bit more red where this one has just a little less but they're, they're pretty close that I would, I would say they were identical. So this is another one of my favorites, which is bougie. So hopefully this bougie is the same. It seems like red was not the issue. I think that the nudes were the issues that they could not get the nudes to be identical. Maybe it's hard to do that. I don't know. I don't make makeup but the red seemed to be pretty close in color actually. All right, so this one is just a bit darker. This is the original bougie, which I like. This is like super red. It reminds me of Mary Jo Kay. And I think I'm gonna go with the original one because I really, really love the dark and deepness of that red. Like they're two different, this is a very bright red where this was more of a deep red. Still identical, still identical. Look at the two difference here. And I think this one was the wish you were here one. Like this. Look at this, same amount swatch. Look how streaky this is. This is why I'm glad I'm not doing it on my lips. You can see this. This is super streaky where this one is super thick and completely coated and pigmented. All right, which ones are we going into next? The next ones are head over heels. They look pretty similar. So those actually look pretty close. This is the original, this is the new. They're actually, yeah. They're identical, even the undertone, because I can see it's smeared. The uh, pink undertone is pretty close too. Posy K, Posy K. I actually was not the biggest fan of this lip color, if I'm being honest with you guys. So they're, they are fairly similar. I can see the difference in the undertone. This is a little bit more pinky than this one. So I'm liking this one. I know most people are probably like, Jamie, that is the same fucking color but it's not like they're different. If you look, this one's a little bit more pinky and darker. This one's a little bit lighter with a little less pink in it. So this is Clove. Ooh, they look different. Look at that. They look hecka different. Hecka different. Clove is really pretty though. Ugh, that and Love Bite, which I'm getting to. It's that pink undertone coming through way too hard. So look at the difference here. This one's a little bit darker. It's more like that vampire-esque lipstick where this one is just it's way too holly berry for me that lipstick that she had has way too much berry tone in it Meh. i only have two left so i'm gonna do them on my hands so we have 22 which is actually one of my other favorite of her collection so hopefully it'll be the same if not i'm gonna be sad well i'll probably keep this one then if it's not because i love 22. so it looks like this one is a little the older one's a little bit darker but i'm gonna wait for it to dry to see but this one does look a little brighter but it still has that same perfect undertone like if you see me move this one's just a shade are hair lighter, but the undertones are still very much orange, very much warm. So I'm excited about that. Okay, 22 is the same. Let's go with the last one. The last lipstick, we've been here forever. All right, the last color is one of my favorite as well. It is Love Bite. Love Bite. You want that like vampire-y look? This was the color okay it was like purple but not too pink purple okay so look at these yes so see the difference between this vampire -y color this has like a pinky purple undertone this does not this is more of a mm, i want to say brownie undertone less pinks and purples more brownish so it is a purple lipstick okay it is technically purpley brown so but it looks more vampire-esque because it doesn't have all that pink underneath however i will tell you with this one being yeah it's dry this is a little bit darker than this one but not by much these two are literally two of my favorite liquid lipsticks from kylie so the fact that they are identical to their counterpart i'm kind of excited about that where like some of these like this is two different colors here okay so I'm gonna keep both of these because they're two different colors um this one actually wanted up being exactly the same I thought this one was a little bit lighter but it's exactly the same and then these two are pretty similar this one's kind of patchy the old one 
Ooh. So I'm gonna wipe this off my skin and then we're gonna come back and we're just gonna close out this video talking about our thoughts, our final thoughts on the new Kylie formula. Here we are, final thoughts. What do we think? Mm, okay, so I have a couple of thoughts. I don't like that I feel all of the newer shades or newer formulas when it came to the nudes, primarily to the nudes because I feel like when we got into the pinks and purples they were actually a lot more close or identical than the nudes. I don't like that they're completely different colors. So when a person finds a nude, okay, think of it this way. When a person finds a nude, it's very hard to find a perfect nude. So once you find it, it like that's it. So I feel like by renaming these the same exact names as the others, you're kind of misleading them because if I were to take, let's do this one, okay? Uh, allergic to Bullshit was different. And I was like, oh, well, Allergic to Bullshit's my favorite nude. And I go and buy this new lighter, more pink undertone versus the other one that was not like that. Now I'm pissed because you told me that this was that shade, okay? And I'm aware they can't have identical shades. They can't steal formula. I get that. I get that. I just feel like what she should have done is compare them all and go, okay, these are different shades. These are not the same shades. The ones that are the same will say, hey, these are remakes of your favorite shades. But the ones that look different, like some of them I showed you look completely different, they need it to be called something else because they're not the same. Or have something like on your website that says, hey, close but not the same. Uh, similar but not the same. So that is my major dislike, negative takeaway, if you will. I'm going to be buying some more to replace some other ones. So keep an eye out on videos for these. I love to compare new and old formulas. But for me, I just think that if you have a favorite that I've swatched, keep in mind what you're seeing and is it the same and would you be okay with the slight differences the older ones had a sweet sweet smell to them that the newer ones don't which i appreciate the older ones were a little bit easier to get out of the tube for these new ones i don't know if it's just because they're new but like i'm like flinging it i flung it all over like uh, my hands and stuff so for me i would say not to completely exchange your old ones for your new ones like a lot of the older ones i will keep as long as they're not you know past their date situation um so if they're stinky they're old they're crusty they're gone but a lot of them i really like and the newer ones i just I don't know that I'm going to use them as much because of the pinky peach undertone. And that's my question, I guess, to Kylie Cosmetics as we sit here. What is the deal with the peachy pink? What's happening? How many people go, you know what? I want a peachy lipstick on a day. Like nobody really cares for a peachy undertone, okay? Nobody, not on their lips at least. So those are my final thoughts. Let me know what you guys think down below. Have you gotten the new ones? Have you compared them to your old ones? Um, is the color change a big deal to you? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just me and I'm being crazy and most people don't really care if there's a color shift or an undertone change. Let me know all of that down below. Let me know what your favorite color is from Kylie Cosmetics and do you think she'll be launching it again so you can buy it. With all that being said, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you really did enjoy it. I hope it helped and referenced some of the changes that Kylie Cosmetics did with her brand. If this video did help you guys, please hit that thumbs up button for me it really helps my channel and it really helps boost my videos and make sure you subscribe before you leave if you're not already and I'll see you guys on the next one bye